Hi, my name is Nathan and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. A fool's lips bring him strife, and his mouth invites a beating. Our daily word for today is the word strife. Let's say this word together, strife. So what does that word strife mean? To experience strife is to experience a disagreement or a division or a conflict that is emotional. So when you have friends that there is strife between those friends, it means that there has been an emotional disagreement or conflict and now there is division. So when you think of the word strife, we're not thinking of unity, we're not thinking of harmony or love. What we're thinking of is contentious disagreement. There was something that happened that involved the emotions of those parties involved. There was a disagreement or a conflict, and now there's division. So to experience strife is not a good thing. Strife between people is not a positive thing, it's by far a negative thing. So again, you can have an example of friends. You can have friends where there is strife between those friends because of something that happened. So you can have strife in families, you can have strife between countries, any emotional disagreement or conflict that has resulted in division. So now that we have a basic understanding of the word strife, let's put it back into Proverbs and see how that illuminates this verse. What we see in this verse is it says that a fool's words bring strife, or because of a fool's words, there is strife. Our words are powerful tools. Words can bring about healing and love and unity and miracles in people's lives. If you're choosing words that promote unity and love and miracles and healing, But so often, because of our human nature, because of the sin in us, we don't often seek instinctually the betterment or the love of those around us. We typically go back and we revert to ourselves and what will serve us the most in those situations. So when we're relating to people and we're having conversations and there's a disagreement, it's very easy for us to use words that will inflict pain very easy for us to use words that promote strife and not unity. And what we see in the scriptures, what the Lord is revealing to us in Proverbs, is that to do this, to use words that bring strife, is to be a fool. So to be a fool is to lack wisdom. To be a fool is to not be discerning. So when you are a fool, you're aimless and you're reacting emotionally. You're not seeking the wisdom and discernment of the Lord. And in our case, because of Jesus seeking the Holy Spirit to counsel us in those moments of heated debate or heated conversation, something that was said that brings about things in us that make us upset or frustrated. In those moments, the fool does not seek the Lord and to say, Lord, let me see these things from your perspective. Let me see these people from your perspective and give me a period where I don't say anything. Give me silence. The fool speaks without thinking, just emotionally. And when that happens, because of that emotional reaction, there's strife. Because those words of the fool often are not there promoting the betterment of that conversation or that group or that relationship. It's seeking to serve the self. The emotions of the self want to feel something and saying those words bring about that satisfaction that only serves that self, not the others. So to be wise in the Lord and to seek the counsel of the Holy Spirit because of Jesus, we will see things from his perspective. He will give us a period of silence so that when we speak, our words promote unity, love, and the gospel because that is our 
basis of living once we accept Jesus as Lord is that we are ministers of the good news of the gospel to all people. Now, to be a fool is to reject that. To be a fool is to speak emotionally, to speak instinctually, and to not have the betterment of the gospel and the kingdom of God and his people in mind, but to have the betterment of the self in mind. So the question for us is when you are in those situations, are you quick to speak? Do you take the road of the fool who speaks emotionally and instinctually, or do you wait on the Lord and seek the betterment of those people around you in love, promoting the gospel and promoting Christ? Because that's our job. Our job is to be ministers of reconciliation, not destruction, which is the way of the fool, which always will bring strife. So seek the gospel in your relationships and seek to be wise in the Lord by the power of the Holy Spirit and not to be the fool that brings about strife. Well, that does it for today's episode of The Daily Word. If you like this video or found it helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. But go ahead and try to use this word in your daily life. Maybe are you experiencing some strife right now? Why has that strife arisen in your life? Why are you experiencing that strife? Think about how words have played into that strife. And when you go out into your day today, seek to be a minister of reconciliation. Put the Lord's will before your own and seek peace. And don't be the fool that reacts emotionally and instinctually and creates strife. Well, my name is Nathan, and this was your Daily Word. See you next time.